My manuscript was just accepted. What happens next? Well, congratulations. You will be published in one of the highest quality chemistry journals. If you elected the just accepted manuscript option when you submitted your paper, is that it will be displayed as it was accepted on the ACS website. It will have a DOI, which means that it will be citable, and that citation, that DOI, will be persistent throughout the life of your article. It also will be freely accessible until the final published version is available on our website. We will take the text of your paper and convert it into a standard format that is known as XML. We will process your graphics to make sure that they are sized appropriately for each other, and we will edit the text. We will then take each of those pieces and format it, compose it, into a final published paper. We'll send that to you so that you and your team can review it for any final corrections. And once we receive those corrections, we will apply them and then publish your paper ASAP, or as soon as publishable. At some point in time, we will then collect these articles that have been published ASAP and publish them in an issue. How long does the process take? For a full-length article, it often takes between 14 to 16 days, and for a letter or a communication, it can be less than a week. The average time to process a manuscript from the time we receive it until it's published is about 14 to 16 days. What should I do if I want or need my paper to be open access? As we process the paper, we will scan it to determine who funded the work that you did. We will also check on their requirements for open access. If we find that there are, there are requirements, we will send a notice to you describing the options that are available to you. We can deposit the paper with the NIH if that is necessary, or we can give you information about the ACS Author Choice Program. This is a program where you can buy your paper into open access, and for more information on that, you can look at the author and reviewer page on the ACS website. How much does it cost to publish with ACS? There are no charges for publishing with the American Chemical Society. We have no submission charges, no charges for color, and no page charges. So, it's free. Is there a fee for ACS author choice? Yes, the prices for author choice range between one and three thousand dollars today. If you belong to a subscribing institution or an ACS member, that's how you can minimize your costs. How can I share my paper? There are a number of ways that you can share your paper with your colleagues. You may share the DOI, which will bring them to the ACS website to find your paper. You can send that via an email link to them, put it on your Facebook page, however you like to share information. You may also purchase art author reprints and send them a hard copy of it, or you can use the ACS Articles on Request program. Information on each of these options will be shared with you when you receive your proof for corrections. What does your office do with my paper once it's accepted? Our technical editors carefully read every paper. They read the paper and make grammar corrections. They'll make stylistic corrections. And they'll also ensure that the underlying XML content is correctly formatted. When the um, editor opens the paper, um, he, um, he or she will look at the information about the paper title, authors, and supporting information and other pieces and check those things. But then the editor reads the paper in entirety, not just checks a few things, but actually reads the paper and works on um, correcting grammar or other issues that may be present um, and um, checking over the references to make sure that they're as complete as possible. Um, in the process of looking at manuscripts, uh, technical editors may sometimes find um, inconsistencies or 
perhaps figures that a figure reference that is to the wrong figure or maybe. And so when we, when we um, read the paper, if we find something that perhaps we think should be called to the attention of the author so the author can check it, we'll include an author query um, that will appear in the edit trace. So it's important for authors to check the author queries um, so that they can address issues that the editor may have found that the editor was not sure how to fix, but certainly seemed worthy of attention by the author to make sure that the paper is scientifically consistent and clear as possible in its meaning and as complete as possible. All of our technical editors ha have a scientific background. Um, several of the editors have PhDs in chemistry. Many have master's degrees. Um, everyone has a, at least a bachelor's degree in a scientific field, chemistry or a related, closely related field. So the people who are reading the papers and editing them um, are people who have technical expertise. And so um, that's an important um, value added that we can provide to authors, that they can know that in addition to having grammar mistakes fixed and other issues checked, um, the person who's reading their paper has a technical background that can help um, ensure that the paper is correct and complete and consistent as possible. We spend quite a lot of time on the reference section uh, to ensure the accuracy of the references so that they can be, again, properly linked on, uh, the, on the web version of the manuscript and also so that they are available for download from that web version. Um, and so uh, completeness of, the, of each reference is a really critical piece that we need to get from the authors so that there are no um, missing pieces of information, particularly from journal references such as a missing date um, of publication or missing page numbers um, or even missing, sometimes missing the journal title itself. So um, when authors are working on references that have not yet been um, completely finished and published in issues and don't have pagination, um, if they've been assigned a DOI, um, that is an important piece of information to include in the reference at submission because um, citing a paper by DOI is an acceptable form that allows the paper to be found by linking. And so that would be more than sufficient um, for us to make a complete reference if we have just the DOI. What are the best practices to ensure that my manuscript is processed quickly? Um, there are really two resources that we would strongly recommend the authors that uh, um, familiarize themselves with before submitting. The first and probably the most important is the notice to authors for the journal. This is the, the source of information that they can find out what are the required pieces for every manuscript submitted to the journal and what's the preferred format that they be submitted in. Um, another, uh, another useful resource for authors, particularly for facilitating um, accessible presentation of their manuscript, is the ACS Style Guide. Um, it provides a lot, of, a lot of information on standard abbreviations, on um, appropriate presentation of tables, of references, um, of different kinds of, of data uh, to help make the manuscript more accessible to the reader as well as will, it will make processing of the manuscript more efficient. So I think um, a complete and, and um, well organized submission will speed the, the paper through every part of the process.